So what's going on with you, Evan, when you're, I guess, in your office and, again, the messages start hitting your inbox, whether you're leading up to Sundance or Toronto? Ignoring them. Ignoring them. Sleeping. Get the out of office, bounce back. Uh, no, uh, you know, I do, you know, I'm the long shot in this space. You know, getting a studio to buy your film and release it, you know, platform or widely theatrical, like that's the, you know, that's the, the golden ticket for an independent film. Many, I believe, you know, a lot of the time. So um, it's, we're not prolific. We don't buy a lot. It's not, you know, You're it's not cubic. You're watching all the dreams in the room. <laughs> Just kidding. Just dangling it like and uh, out there. But, but no, it's, you know, there are companies that are far more prolific that, you know, that is their business. You know, acquiring movies is far cheaper than making them yourself. You're only taking uh, a, a chunk of it. Um, you're paying a minimum guarantee for the right to distribute it. You're not actually funding it. Um, Has it changed to Paramount? Because then maybe there was Paramount Vantage that was doing more of that artsy stuff like that. You know, it, it, it changes at studios frequently a little bit. Like, it'll, it'll change a little bit. I mean, the reality is, you know, we acquire, there's no set amount. We can acquire as many movies as we want to. Um, it's it's a little bit of the marketplace driven, you know, um, in that it's what's out there. You know, you're looking. People say like, you know, oh, we want another uh, paranormal activity. I mean, that's a needle in a haystack. You know, the one before that was uh, Blair Witch. Um, it's very rare that you find something that has that sticky concept that was made for nothing that can communicate to, you know, a super wide audience. Um, so was Paranormal an acquisition from a, from a festival or a genre it, festival? It was actually, yeah, it was from Slam Dance. Uh, it was, you know, everyone had passed on it. And it was acquired, in fact, as a remake, as like, okay, let's remake this. And then we tested the movie and, um, uh, you know, scared the shit out of people. and. and you know, and and there was a battle internally, and they also figured out a way to market it um, in a new way. Um, the, you know, while the acquisition cost is small to launch a a movie wide or close to wide theatrically is incredibly expensive in terms of marketing. So, you know, you might buy a movie for three or four million dollars, but then you're kind of committing to the company to a lot. Um, I bought a film in Toronto, uh, Top Five, this Chris Rock movie, and uh, you know you were in the festival, and no one got to see it except you. And you know, on a Sunday, um, you know my boss at the time said, you know, when I screened the movie for everyone on Tuesday, this is a scary screening. You committed us to a lot of money, um, and we haven't seen the movie. And you know, I loved it, and I thought I had a concept and the right talent to sell it and uh, was, was very pleased with the outcome uh, of that. But um, no, but we have to because there are such things as paranormal activity and there's big movies. You have to cover everything. You can't ignore anything, you know? Um, and so it is a lot of um, checking scripts, uh, covering screenings. Um, you know, I don't know how well you guys know the international foreign market, but they sell these territories based off of promos. So you then also go into Berlin and Cannes and watching these eight minute promos and you're having to take bets um, at that stage as well. So it's a constant um, inundation of, of material. Much of it is great, um, a lot of it isn't. And uh, it's just finding the things that work for the company you work for.